In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how Taiwan has changed me. I'm from South Africa, and I grew up in South Africa, and I came to Taiwan in my early 20s, and I've been living here for a bit over 12 years now. And when you move from a country such as South Africa, or I would imagine most Western countries, to a place like Taiwan, which is uh, quite wild and exotic, and beautiful and overall it's very very different. If you spend a lot of time here it will inevitably I think change you to some extent for the better or the worse. Let's talk about lifestyle first. When I first came here I was single and I would suggest that if you're a guy and you are coming out to a place like Taiwan it's probably better to be single. I mean everyone's different and I respect that <clears throat> but I have seen a lot of foreigners who do come over here with a Western girlfriend or a foreign girlfriend and, well, they don't always stay together for very long. Uh, some of them do, but a lot of them don't. And that's because, well, you know, guys are guys. Anyway, so when I came here I was single uh, and now I'm married. So that's one of the first big differences. And when you get married, well, not everything changes, but when you have kids, a lot of things change. So if you guys are thinking about coming over here to have kids, and I think it really actually doesn't matter which country you're in, if you have kids in any country, your life's going to change dramatically. I can almost guarantee you that. So think hard and think carefully before you do it. When I first came here, I had a lot less responsibility. And I think that's partially because I was quite young. And I think it's also partially due to the fact that I was single. And I only really had to take care of myself. And there was no one else whom I needed to take care of. Now, however, I'm married and I have two amazing kids. Um, so I have to be a lot more responsible and a lot more careful with just about everything I do. And this is, I think, true in most countries. I think it's, 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 it doesn't really matter which country you're in. If you have kids, things change. I also remember very clearly when I got here over 12 years ago, I wasn't able to save very much. And I just had really, really bad spending habits. And you know, you're young, you're in a foreign country, you're earning a relatively good amount of cash. And, well, you just want to pretty much party and travel and uh, enjoy your life, right? So I ended up blowing a lot of my money and I was initially living from paycheck to paycheck, which, when I think about it, is absolutely ridiculous because I was earning quite a lot. I mean, I'm earning more than I was more now, but that's simply because I work more now. Um, but now I'm actually able, funnily enough, even though I earn a little bit more and I, even though I have two kids and I'm married, and my, my wife doesn't work by the way, she's a housewife, which is a difficult job, but I actually save more now with two kids and a wife than I was able to do when I was single. And yes, okay, granted I was earning a little bit less, um, but when I think about it, I could have saved quite a bit more, and I probably should have, but I didn't. Uh, and I don't actually regret it. I had a lot of fun, I had a good time, um, but those days are over. I also recall when I first got here, because I had a lot more free time, I used to spend a lot more time outdoors. Um, but now, over the years of living in a very sort of overdeveloped city and living an on-the-go lifestyle, um, I don't have as much time as I'd like to get outdoors, which is a real pity because Taiwan actually offers a fantastic um, range of outdoor, of outdoor activities and it's such a beautiful place and I do sometimes get out and go do those outdoor activities but just not as much as I'd like to and I think I don't think this is again this is probably not mainly due to Taiwan but it's just due to my lifestyle because when I first came here I did a lot of hiking and I spent a lot of time outdoors uh, but over a while over the years, like I said, of living in a busy city, you kind of adapt to that environment and uh, 
I live a fairly busy lifestyle, um, you know, with work and family and those sort of things. Another thing which has changed quite a lot is that I speak a lot more Chinese now uh, compared to when I first got here, and that's kind of obvious. So when I first got here, um, I couldn't really speak Chinese, so it kind of makes sense that I didn't speak it. But now, since I've been here for so long and I've put a bit of effort into studying the language, I end up using it a lot more. And another thing which has actually happened, funnily enough, even though my English is, I think, relatively good, my English has actually become worse over the years because you have less opportunity to interact with other native English speakers. And most of the time, when you do speak to a local here, not all the time, there are of course some Taiwanese people who can speak perfect English, absolutely fantastic English. Um, but most of the locals that I've met here over the years uh, don't actually speak English that well, especially like colleagues and people that you work with at your schools. And you end up like, reverting to using very basic English uh, to ensure that they understand you and to minimize any sort of like communication errors, right? Um, so what happens is <laughs> you end up like speaking very simple English because you do it every day, you kind of have to. And also of course if you're teaching a much younger age group you can't, you can't exactly speak or use, you know, advanced collocations and things like that. You have to kind of revert to colloquial English and you have to keep it quite simple. So <clears throat> unfortunately what happens is you, your English kind of takes a bit of a knock, <laughs> which really sucks. Um, but yeah, that is something which has changed a little bit. But I think that this can be combated by simply just reading a lot and hanging out with foreigners and communi communicating more often with native English speakers and I think you'll be fine. It's not really a huge problem. Let's talk about food. Now, you know, coming from South Africa, we have a very sort of different type of cuisine to the traditional sort of Taiwanese cuisine that you'd find out here. And that took a lot of adjusting too. Now, I'm adventurous. I like to try new things and I'm very willing and I was very willing certainly to try different types of food, but to eat it sort of day in and day out on a regular and sort of repetitive basis, that, that took a lot of getting used to. Even now, I still crave that Western food. It's something that I need occasionally. Uh, it's not something that I can go without for too long, you know? But compared to before, you know, currently, I eat a lot of Asian food. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with that. Asian food is absolutely delicious. I mean, there's Taiwanese food, there's Thai food, there's Japanese food and Korean food and you know the list goes on and very close to where I live I have all those restaurants very close to me so I thoroughly enjoy it so you might find that your diet will change a little bit and I think that's simply just because of your environment and what's available. Another thing I noticed um, is that when I first got here I used to eat out, uh, sorry I used to go to the supermarket, buy groceries take the food home and cook. And so basically I used to eat at home quite often. And that's something which kind of stuck with me from South Africa because in South Africa, that's what most people do. They eat at home quite often. And I'm pretty sure that in the West or in most Western countries, a lot of people do eat at home, it's sort of customary, you know? But now what we do is um, I, we very seldom prepare the food at home. We might get like some lunch boxes and eat them at home or we might get some takeaways and eat it at home or we'll just end up going out to a restaurant. We very seldom actually go to a supermarket, buy groceries and food and whatnot, come back home, cook that food and prepare it and then eat at home. We do still sometimes do that but not very often, absolutely not. So my eating habits, not just what I'm eating but how I'm eating, that's definitely something which has changed quite a bit. Let's talk about uh, my character and personality and perhaps even your character or personality which uh, might change and how it will change or how it might change if you come to live here for an extended period of time. When I first got here I really didn't like crowds. Crowds were just you know something that I wasn't used to coming from South Africa and just something which I didn't really like. However 
as you all know, Taiwan has a very high population density and if you live in any, pretty much any city, you're going to have to deal with crowds. So, when I first got here, I wasn't really used to that, but now I accept it, I don't really mind, and I'm not really bothered by it. Uh, another thing, which I remember when I first got here, is, and this still happens quite, quite frequently, is that people point at you, and they stare at you, and they'll say, hey, look, it's a foreigner, you know, in Chinese. And this is because you look very different. And when I first got here, it, it used to bother me quite a bit, you know. I'd be like, what? Come on. <laughs> what are you guys doing? I'm just a person, you know. There's no, no need to point at me and shout, look, there's a foreigner. Um, but then I realized that it's just because you look different and you are different. And I absolutely don't mind it at all now. In fact, if it doesn't happen on a fairly regular basis, I almost start wondering why, which is quite weird. I remember when I first got here, I was quite young and also as a result quite naive. And I wasn't very tactful socially. I, I just couldn't be bothered at that time. I didn't care and I was just like, you know, whatever, deal with it. And I am still relatively candid, I think. But, you know, as you grow up and you kind of integrate into society, you have to be more tactful and sometimes more discreet, a little bit more careful with what you say, how you say it, and how you deal with people. Because how you deal with people can actually have a very direct impact on your life, you know. Could, could be on your business or your social life or anything. Um, so that's something which uh, is quite different from before and compared to now. Let's talk about friends. Now this is quite a big one. Uh, when I first came here, I didn't really know anyone, but I quickly made quite a lot of friends. Well, actually, that's not entirely true. The first, like, six, seven months, I didn't make any friends. But within, like, the first year or two, I sort of ma met a group of foreigners, uh, and we sort of hung out a lot, and it was quite a big group of us, and I made a lot of really good friends during my first couple of years here. But... Unfortunately, what happens is, for people like myself who end up staying here for 10, 11, 12 plus years, is that a lot of those foreign friends that you meet and make, they will leave. Not all of them, one or two of them might kind of stick around, and I still have a couple of friends whom I've known for a very long time, but most of them will inevitably leave. Because, you know, well, they have different reasons and various reasons as to why they leave, and I respect that completely, but it is kind of difficult. Um, you will end up losing a lot of friends. So when I do make friends now, um, it's something which I really appreciate. And don't get me wrong, I mean, I have a lot of local friends and they're absolutely fantastic people. You guys know who you are. And I really do cherish and appreciate their friendship. However, um, when it comes to foreign friends, I don't really have a lot of foreign friends now. And yeah, yeah, sure. I know a couple of people here and there and we sort of see each other now and again. But it's, yeah, it's very, very different to how it used to be back in the day. Well, that's it for today. I really do hope that you found this video to be useful and informative. And if you could share this video or subscribe to my channel, that would be absolutely brilliant and very, very helpful indeed. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.